Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to continue talking about our discussion of different sampling methods. Now, in this particular video series, we're only going to deal with two. There are many, many, many types of sampling methods. Whole disciplines are dedicated to that, whole textbooks. So I don't want you to think that it's as simple as these two methods that are available. There are many more. We're just going to get your taste buds wet on two methods. We talked about a simple random sample in a previous video. Today we're going to be talking about convenience sample. So convenience sample. I always tell people that statisticians are not that clever with their terminology. It is what it says it is. So in the definition, what would convenience mean to you? Yeah, it's convenient. Mm -hmm. That's where it comes from. So the reason that we have convenience samples might be for a variety. Here I have the example of cactus. So if you were studying desert and you wanted to get different soil samples from the desert, but there was a big population of cacti represented in one area, you're not going to try to shove your way through there to be able to get a simple random sample. It just wouldn't work. So if you had a desert and you had some areas that were inaccessible because of dense cacti, you would do a convenient sample. So you would say, okay, here are my plots. This is a place that I can't go to. I'm not going to sample from that area. And so you started to do a convenient sample. You could have the same thing in swamps. You could have it in dense areas of the forest. That's just a land example. But you also could have convenient samples because you have a very specific group of individuals that you're interested in. So maybe you're interested in studying the effects of physical therapy after knee replacements. So you won't want to do a random digit dial or a simple random sample of the entire population of Michigan, for example, because you won't find very many people who had, had knee replacements. So what you might do is go to different orthopedic surgeons who do knee replacements to be able to sample your individuals. Well, that's convenient because everybody that has the specific criteria you need are all in one place, but it's also necessary because if you were to try to do a simple random sample, you wouldn't find the individuals that you're interested in. Same thing could be true if you're studying breast cancer. You might go to a specific location that had individuals who had breast cancer. And maybe after you went to that convenient location, you would do a simple random sample. But nevertheless, the purpose of a convenient sample is either because you can't access a specific place or it's because you need a very specific group of people. And so you're going to use that specific group or convenient spot to find them. And then maybe you would do a simple random sample after that. So that's just two sampling methods. Again, there are many more. In future videos, we'll talk about how to start analyzing this data. I look forward to seeing you then.